Hi, this is Kevin from Mets Heuristics. The figure is made out of three identical quarter circles and a right angled isosceles triangle. Angle ABC is equal to 90 degrees and the length of AB is equal to the length of BC. The length of AC is 6 cm. Find the area of the figure taking pi to be 3.14. How or where should we start? We see that this is a right angled isosceles triangle. So since this angle is already 90 degrees, the other two should be 90 divided by 2 to give you 45 degrees each. And this works out quite well because if this is the case, then I can extend out a mirror image and this entire part would be a square. When I know that this is a square and this diagonal is 6 cm, if I were to draw another diagonal across it, then this should be 3 cm, which is half of 6 cm and it will be perpendicular to this diagonal. With that in mind, I can find out the area of ABC. So triangle ABC's area will be half times base 6 times height 3 to give me 9cm squared. Then when I look at this problem again, how am I supposed to find these three identical quarter circles when nothing else is given? Then I have to look into the definition of the area of a circle. This will be pi times radius times radius. Well, nothing is said about the value of the radius here, so I have to derive it myself. I can see that the area of this triangle can also be expressed as half times r times r. Then that would give me 9 as I have found earlier. This means that the radius times radius would be 9 divided by half. Then that would give you 18 cm squared. So to find the area of these three quarter circles, we need to take 3 quarters times 3.14 times the radius times the radius. In this case, this will be 18. And then we add the 9 to it, and that will give us a total area of 51.39. And the answer will be 51.39 cm squared. Now, why do I do it this way? Because there is no way you can find a rational value of r at the primary level. You can use irrational numbers if you know how to deal with them, but I don't recommend it because it's not in the syllabus. Thank you for watching. I hope you've learned something today. Click here for more of such teaching videos and click here to subscribe.